Hello, friends. It is I, Ryan. So, today's comment is from Jamar27. He asks, Hey, Ryan. I was looking through your videos, and I couldn't find the one on the super moves or the one on ground bounce. So, I think the, the one on super moves is a very old one for Shelly, particularly. I never um, got the super moves with uh, Ray McDougal. Such a funny name still. So, uh, I'm going to half-ass this video because I have this done already, and I didn't want to go through the trouble of figuring it out again, or at least putting a lot of brain power into it. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to um, showcase my uh, Dragon Ball Fighters style Frieza because he has a down bounce. So, this is my Frieza using these amazing sprites. And the down bounce is in uh, these three states. So I have the Vanish, a hit def to send the player to into a custom state, which is right here, and then player two uh, going down from wherever they are facing, uh, well facing doesn't really matter, but uh, velocity is what matters. So they're going downwards, and then when they get to ground level, well just above ground level, they're going to change into the uh, bounce into the air, which is the down bounce. So this is going to set their position to zero to lock them in there for like a split second. And then I'm going to bounce them back up into the air and uh, have gravity pull them back down. So uh, they, you know, they go up and down slowly and then uh, self state to put them back into their own state. So essentially your down bounce is a custom state. I will show you in action. That is definitely terror and an echo. Okay, so I'm um, using, I think it's two buttons. It's, that's not it. That's it. Slow it down, Eichmann go. Okay, so now, first day was the vanish. After the vanish, uh, he's gonna attack. Boom, hit him with the hit death. Player two is now in a custom state, as you can see from the yellow uh, colors over here. They're in the custom state 801. 801 is going to send them back to the ground. And as he goes to the ground, about here, he's going to go to state 802. And this, it, it, like, it sets him on the floor, but it fakes the hidden the ground stuff. And 802 is going to bounce him back into the air and then have gravity take effect and plop. Now he's back in his own state. He's in a self state now. So now player can uh, recover. I don't know if I did this correct. I did not do it correct. Or at least I don't know what the buttons are. Um, but that's basically it. That's all down bounces. The down bounce is a wall bounce except with the floor. The difference is, or rather not difference, but um, yeah, I guess you could say the difference. The difference is the triggers. The wall would be your back distance. Whereas the floor will be position Y or pose Y, you know, greater than zero. Because the floor is pretty much zero at all times. Everything below the floor, this is all positive numbers. Everything above the floor is all negative numbers. That's pretty much it. Um, so it's a custom state. You use the hit def, put player to inset hit def, and then you have them going down with a vel set and you change your animation to falling down or being knocked down. In this case, um, right here. It's a couple frames of, yeah, 50, 30, 0, 10, 20, 30. So I'm only using these to knock them down. And then O2 is when he hits the ground, boom, bounce up. It looks like the same frame, but it's, it's not. It obviously, as you can tell here. And then it's just gonna flip them around in circles. It looks kind of jerky with Frieza, but with everyone else, it looks fine. It's just my alignment for Frieza is kind of wonky. You could also use Angle Draw for this, but I, I did it the animation way. Uh, so let's see. So this is the animation for player two getting hit from the down bounce, in case you want to copy it for reference. And this is animation uh, after they hit the floor. And now after they bounce off the floor, you have to give them a blue head box. This allows you to follow up with other attacks and stuff, which is the goal of a down bounce is to continue the combo. 
I did a basic square hitbox, nothing crazy. And that's pretty much it. You have your attack and your effects and whatever else you have. Your hit death will have a, a, cust uh, a P2 state number which will put player 2 into a custom state. And then you have your custom state for player 2 which is to go down to the ground. And uh, I should probably explain this a little bit. So position Y greater than 25. If you have position Y at 0, it's going to look really funky. But having it like lowered in the floor level, it makes it so when player two falls from the sky or even if they're standing, it makes it look like they're hit uh, upside the head downwards and it makes it look better. If you put it at zero, it looks kind of funky, at least at least in my eyes. Let's see if I can get it to demonstrate here. Yeah, see, he just kind of he's just on the ground already. He's just already bouncing off. So it does, it skips the whole uh going down part. So I like 25. And then after they hit the ground, they're going to change state to this other uh, custom state, which is uh, bouncing up into the air and then falling back down. And then when they land again, self-state. This is, uh, we'll put them into a, a bounce, a down-bounce state. Not like, you know, a... a, a bounce to pop up to attack but like the regular Mugen default down bounce which you can't follow up with that's it it's, it's as simple as that really um, if you pause the video you can see pretty much um, what the codes entail and you can copy and paste it to make sure you have the same and it works the same way um, that, that's it that was a short video huh I'm gonna be working on more Super Nintendo fighting games I'm trying to get Super Bolted in too, but it's actually a lot harder than I remember. So that's that's going to come out sooner or later. And uh, I will get back into more other tutorials. And uh, I want to play other fighting games too. Stuff I haven't played in like, years that were enjoyable. Um, I have some people who donated to me, or some people who bought me some coffee on uh, Buy Me a Coffee. Uh, special thanks to those two. I can't remember your name right now, but you your generosity is much appreciated i highly appreciate that if anyone else wants to you know buy me a coffee the link is in the description you know feel, please feel free to uh, do that i'm thinking of opening my uh, patreon again um i don't know why but you know i never know in case somebody wants to patreon me i guess i don't know how to word that sentence well thanks for watching see you all next time bye bye